Hello, and welcome aboard. I am Jamie Sloan, and this is my trusty sidekick, Ashley Green, and we are your Epic Math Coaches. I know your time is precious, so let's jump right in and get going. We are going to look at three quick things to give you and your students an awesome start in math this year. The new Google Math Coach site, the calculator policies, and formula sheets. Epic is now using Google Sites to house many of the resources you will use every day. To access our Math Coach site, simply click on the link provided in the email sent to you by us and bookmark it for future use. It takes you right there. Super easy. Next, let's look at calculator policies. Everything will remain the same on the state of Oklahoma's state testing calculator policy for the third through fifth, sixth and seventh, and eighth grades. There were only a few changes to the high school policy, which we will go over in just a moment. To review, remember the third through fifth grades can only have a calculator on the state test if it is listed as an accommodation on their IEP or 504. These calculators need to be a basic four function calculator, but can have a square root and percent buttons, but not a plus or minus button. The plus or minus button Nothing for you. looks like this. This is the calculator your Epic Math Coaches suggest for your 3rd through 5th graders on an IEP or 504 with a calculator accommodation. All 6th and 7th graders will be allowed a calculator on the state test. This calculator is the same suggested calculator for the 3rd through 5th. Remember, it must only be a 4 function but allowed to have a square root and percent button. But again, no plus or minus button. Keeping things the same as last year, all 8th grade will be allowed the use of a scientific calculator with the suggested use of the TI-30XS. It looks like this. Now let's look at what has changed. The high school will now be taking the ACT in 11th grade for their state test and will be allowed a graphing calculator. The suggested graphing calculator for the ACT is the TI-84 Plus and looks like this. The link to this calculator and all calculators in this MathCast can be found on our Math Coach site under State Testing Information, State Calculator Policy. Good news! Did you know that Epic now allows and encourages calculator usage on the benchmarks? Yes! It's new and been approved. Any of the previously mentioned approved calculators can be used on the math test and the ACT benchmarks. So make sure your students are trained and using their approved calculators from the get-go on their benchmarks, daily work, and ready to use them on the state tests. Let's take a look at formula sheets. Formula sheets will be provided for the 6th, 7th, and 8th grades on the state test. Yeah. However, high school will no longer be provided with a formula sheet for their test. Again, make sure your students are trained and using their approved formula sheets along with their calculators from the get-go on their benchmarks, daily work, and ready to use them on their state tests. Copies of these can be found on our Epic Math Coach Google site. So that's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in to episode one of our Epic MathCast. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to visit our new Epic Math Coach site here or email Jamie or Ashley anytime. 